Hello everyone and welcome to day 21 of the 2018 Beer Cartel Beer Advent Calendar. I'm Jeff Ewins from Beer Cartel and today we are revealing the Nomad Red Nose Reindeer Red IPA. So this is the beer that you'll be cracking out of your Beer Advent Calendar box um, and it's one that uh, we did in collaboration. So this is our sixth collaboration beer uh, with a brewery in um, the Advent Calendar box for 2018. Today with me I have Brooks Coretta from Nomad. How are you Brooks? Hello, everyone. Hi. I'm Thank very you. well. Thank you for joining me. Brooks is the head brewer at Nomad. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Brooks, your background um, and the work you do at Nomad. Hey, guys. Um, so my name is Brooks. I'm the head brewer here at Nomad. Um, I started working at Nomad since the start. So that's, that's four and a half years or so ago now. Uh, before that, I, were, I worked mostly in Italy. Um, and I started working at Yorda uh, Borgo some 10, 11 years ago. Um, so I grew up, um, I grew up brewing. My, I grew up in my career there, uh, brewing with Leonardo and learning all the tricks. And then about five years ago, uh, when the idea of opening Nomad in Australia came up, they asked me if I wanted to yeah. be the Nomad, uh, or at least be the Nomad brewer to come over here and get this started. So yeah, it's been a, an amazing adventure so far. And so you set sail and you, you came from uh, the Northern Hemisphere to the South. Um, and tell us a little bit about the styles yeah. of beers that you, you brew there at Nomad. So what is, what's the ethos of the brewery and what do you guys look to accomplish with the beers that you brew? Um, well, I guess, I mean, we have become sort of famous for some beers and some beer styles, but I like to think that we pretty much brew every beer style. Uh, we can. Uh, I like to think that we have a beer for everyone, meaning that we go anywhere from, you know, your everyday pale ale to the sour beers to the fruited beers to the IPAs to the big hoppy beers uh, and some quirky, strange things every once in a while that we like to throw out there. And uh, yeah, but most importantly, I think I like to think that we have a beer for everyone. Fantastic. And that's important to me as a brewer. Fantastic. And so you guys, just so everyone at home knows, Nomad is based um, on the northern beaches in Brookvale in Sydney. Um, so if you are in Sydney, they're, they're not far from the likes of Four Pines. Um, Dad and Dave's, I think, is around the corner from you guys as well. Um, and yourselves, and you have a cellar door there called the Transit Lounge. Tell us a little bit about that and what people can expect if they come out to visit. Yep. Well, as you said, I mean, the Transit Lounge is our cellar door. Uh, and I think it's a, it's really a great place because not only we show, showcase, uh, all the Nomad beers as well, the Yeasty Boys beers, but we also, uh, since our, I guess, sister company has experienced it, we also have a lot of international beers. Uh, and it's great for me as a brewer to be able to, um, taste these, uh, international beers and see what's going on, um, uh, in the U.S., Europe. In Asia. Yeah, um, you've got you really got great for me to, yeah, yeah, to, stay, to keep got, posted and see what's going on. You know? Yeah, you've got quite the selection to choose from, and uh, and the range within the Experience It portfolio, which is the importer, which is the sister company that you're talking about, um, is always changing. So yeah, there's quite a lot of beers there, and uh, quite a lot of breweries within that portfolio that are kind of pushing boundaries yeah. and trying new things. Talking about yeah, tasting. So it's a bit of a small. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. No, it's just a uh, transit lounge is a uh, rather, it's kind of a smallish bar, small lounge, but it has a lot of great beer in it and a really big selection. So I suggest, you know, if anybody's in the area, come down and see us. Yeah. Be and able to see the brewery as well. It's open Friday, Saturday, Sundays. Uh, we're doing Thursday through Sunday at the moment. Okay. Fantastic. Yeah. And often you have live music there, food trucks. And obviously the beer's on tap, so people can have a bit of a feed, some entertainment. Yeah, and the, the weekends get uh, the weekends get pretty wild. There's uh, live <laughs> music on Saturdays. There's always great food trucks. Yeah. Um, so the the food varies a lot. It's really good. Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Well, shall we dive into the collaboration beer that we did? Uh, you have one of the Red sure. Nose Reindeers there. Um, I've got one here as well. So the style is Red um, IPA. So I have tell a matching glass. From <laughs> I just Fantastic. want to emphasise that. Nice. 
So tell us a little bit about um, what everyone can expect when they're pouring this beer at home today um, and tasting it. <laughs> yeah. So, so <laughs> first of all, I want yeah. to thank you yeah. guys. For... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah. I want to thank I want to thank you guys for suggesting this style of IPA um, as a collaboration. Um, I really love a multier um, IPA. Yeah. Like with a big, a nice small backbone. Yeah. Um, and it's just kind of one of the IPA sub styles, I guess, that um, kind of forgotten sometimes. Um, and I'm obviously I'm very glad that there's many different styles of IPA now. Yeah. Um, just saying you're drinking IPA is not enough. You have to, you know, really specify whether it's a New England style IPA, West Coast style, or you name it. You know, hazy, yeah. unfiltered, whatever. Um, but um, a nice multi red IPA is often forgotten as a style. Yeah. Um, so I was very glad when you guys proposed that. Um, I really have to give uh, a big shout out to Brad Filmont for really helping me out in designing the the grain bill for this one. Yeah. Just because, I mean, also with the beer being a bit of a one-off, uh, red is kind of a, as a brewer, red as a color is sometimes incredibly hard to achieve because yeah. uh, on the lighter end of the spectrum of red, you have white brown. And on um, you know <laughs> on the right of it, uh, it's just plain brown. Yeah. So to hit red the first time was a bit of a challenge, but uh, uh, led Phil helped me a lot with that. And yeah. The, I mean, the reddish hue that we have in this beer is pretty incredible. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And you don't want to go too dark. I mean, I think for me, I, I love the red IPA style because it balances out the hop characteristics with the malt profile as well. Um, and yeah, it's got a beautiful head as well. It's uh. It's an off-white. It's more of a kind of cream, yeah. um, cream head, um, but it's quite yeah, nice. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the hops that we used in this. What what hops did you select uh, that we included in this brew? Yeah, so I mean, since it was supposed to be more of a uh, a Christmas beer, a Christmas IPA, I thought that uh, I'd include the, well, the 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 pioneer hops and the 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 finest hops I could really think of, which are Simcoe and Chinook. Yep. So we went pretty heavy on those, um, both in the kettle and in the dry hopping, of course. Uh, we dry hop it pretty big. Um, sort of to, not contrast, but to really balance out the big uh, grain uh, profile that we have in this one. Yep. And uh, yeah, so really piney hops is what I was going for. Yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, I, I um, yeah, I'm very pleased with how it uh, turned out. Um, and yeah, I want to thank you for, uh, yeah, I, I guess accepting the challenge in a way very because good. it was a, um, yeah, I know it was a style that, uh, um, like, yeah, I know you guys haven't always brewed. Um, and so yeah, it was uh, mm -hmm. it was pretty cool to come out there on the actual brew day and assist in the brewing. Um, tell us a little bit about what Nomad has got planned for the new year, 2019 and beyond. What can the good folk at home expect to see from Nomad and the beer styles you guys are looking to release? Um, this is really delicious, by the way. I just want to <laughs> make sure that everybody knows I'm really enjoying this right now. Um, so, Nomad, the year coming up, 2019, we have quite a few beer ideas and things that we've been working on and things that we, we've been wanting to brew for some time. Um, yeah. A few more sour beers, uh, a few more big coffee beers, uh, a couple more uh, double IPAs are coming out in 2019. Yep. That's for sure. And a couple of things in between. I've, I've really been wanting to brew a sour IPA for a long time. Oh, yeah. Um, we just haven't had the time or the tank space. Um, so I'm really going to make sure that that gets done next year. Um, we're kind of at, at that stage right now that we have more ideas than tank space. Yeah. So <laughs> um, sometimes it's a little bit hard, but we, we, you know, just through scheduling things and releasing them throughout the year, it's kind of as uh, seasonal one-offs. So it makes it easy. And yeah. so, yeah, we're going we're gonna to make sure that, there's two or three brews that I really want to be released that will happen for sure in 2019. 
And the future to come, I mean, things are very, very busy. Uh, they've really picked up in the last year. And that's you know, thanks to all the people out there that uh, enjoy our beers. So thank you very much for that. Um, and people um, like you and, you know, bottle shops like Beer Cartel that have pretty much supported us from day, day one. Uh, so they, you guys have helped us to, to grow and really be out there and help us out in the process. So Absolute thank you very pleasure. much. Absolute um, pleasure. Yeah, I mean, we really want to make, you know, like awesome beer, and that's what we work on hard all the time. Um, and, yeah, I'm sure. I mean, there's also another aspect of brewing, which is barrel aging that we haven't really focused on uh, enough or as much as we should have in the last couple of years. So we, yeah. I really want to start a uh, barrel program next year. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many things, so many ideas and so little time. Sometimes yeah. it's a bit time. <laughs> well, we look no, forward to seeing what you have planned for 2019 and the new year and, uh, and beyond. Um, I want to say a special thanks again for brewing the beer with us in collaboration and also for joining me on the call today. Um, so cheers, Merry Christmas, cheers. Uh, prosperous Merry New Christmas. Year, and um, thanks again, Brooks. Cheers.